six foot, 209 pounds, Rasheen Ali, lightning fast, fantastic kind of short area quickness and acceleration. Is is that what appeals when you're looking at Ali? Yeah, I think um, he's he's such an interesting player and I felt like so awful when he, so he suffered an injury at the senior bowl. Um, I think he tore his meniscus. No, it was a bicep tear. Um, so he's not going to be running at the combine or a pro day, I don't think. So um, he's he's had some bad injury luck, but like when you look at the tape, it's like his 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 tape, particularly that 2021 tape, is as good as as any back in this class. Um, so he's actually ran as part of Marshall's track team, um, and he ran a sub seven second uh, 60 meter dash. So um, he's quick. Um, he's he's legitimately quick now when you look at those numbers for 2021 like it's it's proper production both as a runner and as a receiver he is clearly able to handle a heavy workload like 250 carries was you know amongst the best or amongst highest rather in college football that season and 46 catches again you don't get 46 catches by accident he's a productive receiver i think he's had um I think his yards per out run throughout his career was 0.96. And like Will Shipley, who you know is getting a lot of talk as like one of the best receiving backs in the class, is 0.97. So similar receiving production when he's actually called upon as a pass catcher. He can be a three down guy, right? He he's shown he can he can be a productive receiver. He's clearly a good running back. His vision is fantastic. I think he knows how to pace his runs. Um, the worries are, are are big, right? There's a reason he's not being talked about at the top end of that class. Then there's two for me, re- like two real ones, which is one, the injuries. So he missed the entire 2020 or most of the 2022 season um, with an injury. And he's now been injured again. Um, will miss, like I say, most of his off season, probably most of training camp. Um, the other one is fumbles. Like he's had, a, I think he's eleven fumbles in his career at college. Yep. Like that's if there's one thing NFL head coaches don't like, it's a player who fumbles. And every year we have a, a talented runner who fumbles a lot, and then we wonder why they don't see the field much in the NFL. Now he may be able to improve on that, and I really hope he can. Um, but that's a concern, and that's why you won't see him talked about in the upper echelons of this class. But the tape's good. Like the bottom line is the tape is good. And trust the tape. Yeah, I think the the fumbles are a concern. It's, it, he averaged a fumble every sixty touches, which is scary. Like yeah. that's, that's that's really not great. Um, I I agree with you that the injuries are concerned. I I've got a little bit worried about his his contact balance. I think he t- sometimes goes down a little bit too easy. Don't see him run through enough arm tackles. But the receiving is phenomenal. I mean, you can see on the screen here, 18.3% targets per route run. Like that's that's like wide receiver two numbers. You know, 20% is north of 20% is basically a wide receiver one on a team. If you're approaching 20%, that's 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 really impressive numbers. To do that as a running back, to do that as a running back in college that don't traditionally target their running backs as as much as an NFL franchise would, that's phenomenal. And I think that you can see a clear role for him in the NFL immediately in terms of this is a guy who from day one can be a a change of pace back that we're going to get utilized in in the passing game. That immediately has a role. I think he can be more than that. I think he can grow into that. But I wouldn't be surprised if he's, they're slightly different players, but I I wouldn't be surprised if he's almost this year's Chase Brown, where Mm -hmm. he's probably going to go day three. He's yeah. probably going to kind of be forgotten about, but he's going to have a at least a moment this year in the NFL where he'll take one play, one ball, and, and take it to the house, and all of a sudden everybody will suddenly prick up and go, "Oh, okay, maybe we pay attention to this guy." And if he can land in an interesting situation where he can be a one B to you know not an elite back, and he can get into kind of a a, a, a split backfield and maybe over time take over more of a workload. I, I'm really excited about what he could be. The one knock is, is that I'm talking about him having to grow, having to, you know, fix the fumble issues, having to potentially develop in the NFL. 
he's 23 mm. and yeah that you know that's not old and he, he will have time but it is a slight knock on him that we're saying he's got these couple of bits he needs to work on and he's not you know he's not like Audrey Estime who's who's 20 he he's three years older and, and that that is a slight knock against him yeah yeah I think the age is not ideal. the age and injury combination is a is a tricky one um but I feel like if there's a if there's a guy who's that kind of diamond in the rough in the sense of well, maybe not diamond in the rough but more of a um that kind of hidden gem in this year's class it might be him like he's he he would have been a guy that be getting loads of attention at the combine but he's obviously not going to be doing any testing right he'd have been one of those guys that would run a blazing 40 time like ace all the drills the explosive drills i think would be really good uh, but he's not going to get that so you always see at least on social media and maybe sometimes kind of in uh draft media circles these guys bumping on boards based on their combine performance um I think he would have done. I don't think he obviously will now. So he might be a guy that you can get as a steal. If you're if you're drafting kind of rookie drafts, I'm going to be getting loads of him in like the fourth round if I can. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And if, you know, I always talk in those third, fourth rounds, you're shooting for upside and he has it in spades. You know, yes, there is a world where he could never do anything in the NFL. But if you're looking for that home run threat and the guy that could potentially turn into something give me every day because I think that there is a world where he could be a really useful fantasy asset. So yeah, I'm, I'm very excited at, as you said, taking those fourth round picks and, uh, and throwing in a guy like him. 